Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Must Know 3 PSM Images. This is Dr. Neha, your mentor and guide for PSM. Before we begin, uh, just a little heads up for all of you. On, from the 21st of July, we are starting a Focus FMG badge on an academy. These are your wonderful educators who are going to teach you live on the platform. You can also use my code PSM Live and get a 10% off. So let's see the first image for the day. Yes. What does this image demonstrate or depict? From here, you get a very common question that what is lead time? Yes, you get what is lead time. So what is lead time? So let us quickly see each of these points. A is disease onset. What does B point represents? B point represents first possible point of diagnosis and what is x x represents the critical point of diagnosis and what is y everybody y represents the usual time of diagnosis so usual time of diagnosis means when the person is going to come with us with presenting signs and symptoms that is what is the usual time of diagnosis so what is the lead time over here lead time here is the time interval between point B and point Y. This over here is lead time. What is this? The time between first possible point of diagnosis and the usual time of diagnosis. That is what is known as lead time. You are leading in the detection of disease by so much time. So you are early in the detection of the disease by this time interval. So by that you can prolong the survival and you can bring about desired changes. Look at the interval between point B and X. This is known as screening time. First possible point of diagnosis and the interval between critical point of diagnosis. If you have to apply apply a screening test and you want to gain a substantial advantage, substantial survival, prolongation in survival, it must be applied till the point X. So that is what is critical point of diagnosis. So suppose if we screen a community for uh, diabetes, instead when a person comes to us with diabetic retinopathy, we then test him for diabetes. We will not be able to bring about the desired changes. But if I am able to test at him from point B, that is when I go to a community and all the elderly, I do an RBS and I am able to filter out all those who are likely to develop the disease. Then I will be able to prolong the survival. I will be able to prevent diabetic retinopathy from happening. So these are the two very important points the point the interval between B and Y is known as lead time and between B and X is screening time let's see the next image for the day what is this yes this is septic tank diagram now where is septic tank used basically this is used for household treatment of sewage jaha pe water supply to adequate hota hai, but we do not have connection to adequate sewerage systems we use a septic tank now over here you can see it's a watertight masonry tank into which household sewage is admitted for treatment suitable for individual dwelling small group of house institutions with adequate water supply but no supply to public sewer system pani ka supply is sufficient hai, but sewer system se supply nahi hai. so not recommended for large communities and in that you can retain a capacity of 500 gallons and the uh, sewage has to be retained for 24 hours sewage is what liquid excreta uh, liquid uh, with excreta okay so it occurs in two processes first stage hota hai jahan pe anaerobic digestion occurs which takes place in septic tank proper all the solids settle down sludge and the lighter solids the grease and fat rise to the surface to form scum jahan pe the solids are broken down aerobic oxidation takes place in the subsoil this is mcq whatever products are going out is undergo aerobic oxidation so you can just look at over here the sewage enters from the house over here anaerobic digestion takes place in which sludge is the <clears throat> solid part which settles out the greasy part goes up and the rest waste water goes to the drain field jahan pe aerobic oxidation occur karta hai so you will be asked about the diagram identify and the two stages which are happening 
one more image for the day where do you think this is going to be discarded so this is a soiled cotton piece or you can also say a soiled gauge anything which is soiled okay soiled gauge piece soiled dressings linens beddings all of them go and uh, are disposed of into yellow color bag and ultimately they are what incinerated is that okay so these were three images for the day thank you so much for watching i'll be coming soon with another video